Why are they trying so hard to convince us that people that are seeing black-eyed demon faces have a disorder? Michael Snyder reports, If you came into contact with someone with a face that looked like a demon and eyes that were completely black as night, what would you do? Encounters of this nature are popping up on social media at the exact same time that the mainstream media is trying really hard to convince all of us that anyone that is seeing black-eyed demon faces has a quote-unquote disorder. In fact, if you type demon face into Google News, you will literally get hundreds of articles about a disorder known as prosopometamorphosia. But this is a very, very rare disorder. At this point, less than 100 cases of PMO have ever been documented. So why are these... Why are they making such a big deal out of this disorder all of a sudden? All of the news stories about this disorder focused on one 59-year-old man from Clarksville, Tennessee, named Victor Shara, and the following comes from NBC News. Victor Shara had always had sharp vision, but one life-altering day in November 2020, he noticed out of the blue that people's faces around him looked demonic. Their ears, noses, and mouths were stretched back, and there they were, and there were deep grooves on their foreheads, cheeks, and chins. My first thought was, "I woke up in a demon world," says Stara, 59 years old, of Clarksville, Tennessee. "You can't imagine how scary it was," he said. I completely believe him. What Victor Shara is experiencing definitely sounds like a very real disorder. And after he was tested, he was formally diagnosed with prosopal metamorphosia. In other words, your, you metamorphose, your, your eyes metamorphose people's faces. Someone he knew taught visually impaired people and suggested he might have prosopal metamorphosia, or PMO, the extremely rare neurological disorder of perception causes faces to appear distorted in shape, size, texture, or color. Shara felt the symptoms were a match, and he was formally diagnosed last year. I have no doubt that he has PMO, but this is supposed to be very, very rare as a disorder. According to People magazine, only 81 cases have ever been confirmed. The disorder is so rare that according to one 2021 report, only 81 cases have been recorded. You are far more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to have a case of PMO. So why are they making such a big deal out of this? It's almost as if some outlets are trying to suggest that many of their readers could have this condition too. For example, the following comes from a Science Daily article entitled, If Faces Look Like Demons, You Can Have This Extraordinary Condition. We've heard from multiple people with PMO that they have been diagnosed with by psychiatric uh, psychiatrists as having schizophrenia and put on antipsychotics when their condition is a problem with the visual system, says senior author Brad Duchesne, professor of psychology and brain sciences and principal investigator of the Social Perception Lab at Dartmouth. He said, and it's not uncommon for people to have who have PMO to not tell others about their problem with face perception because they fear others will think the distortions are a sign of psychiatric disorder, he said. It's a problem that people often don't understand. For those that really do have protomometamorphosia, faces all around them look distorted. So if the vast majority of the faces you see look completely normal, and then you encounter someone with a demon face, that is not protomometamorphosia. Recently, videos from people that have had very strange encounters with individuals that have completely black eyes and have been getting a lot of attention on social media, and this here is a video from a Christian delivery driver, and it appears that he is very honestly trying to share what he experienced. Needless to say, I can't confirm any of this. I was not there. There is no video footage of what he witnessed, but others are reporting similar experiences. And in another video, it's from a woman that encountered someone with completely black eyes at the grocery store. Maybe the people that are seeing these things are just crazy, or maybe they just have wild imaginations, I don't know. But this is not something that has just started happening. 
For many years, people have reported very creepy encounters with black-eyed children, quote-unquote. In fact, this phenomenon has been so widespread that even Wikipedia has an entry about it. Black-eyed children or black-eyed kids in American contemporary legend are paranormal creatures that resemble children between ages 6 and 16 with pale skin and black eyes who are reportedly seen hitchhiking or begging or are encountered on doorsteps of residential homes. I'm sure that many of you have learned of such incidents as well. Now all of a sudden, supposed encounters with individuals that have black-eyed demon faces are suddenly popping up all over social media. Why is that? I wish I had some solid answers for you. For now, I'll certainly keep my eyes open for any more reports of people with black-eyed demon faces. Before I end the article, there's one more thing I wanted to share with you. Earlier today, I was extremely alarmed to read that a monkeypox strain with pandemic potential has been spreading in the Dominican Republic of Congo. A mutant strain of monkeypox with pandemic potential has been found in a town with the Dem Democratic Republic of Congo. The virus is a descendant of the deadlier clade 1-mpox strain, but has evolved to become even more infectious and better at evading tests than its predecessor. The concerning discovery was made in Kamituga, a poor, densely populated gold mining town that is feared to be ripe for an explosive outbreak. So far, there have been 108 cases. Researchers who detailed the virus in a preprint have called for urgent measures to contain the virus and avoid a global outbreak. This particular strain supposedly has a fairly high death rate, and it causes such extreme pain that many of those that survive feel like they were brought right to the brink of death. The good news is that it appears that this mutant strain is spreading primarily through sexual activity just like previous strains. If you avoid improper sexual activity, you are not likely to be at risk. Of course, the bird flu and other very dangerous pestilences are also percolating in various areas around the globe right now, and so we will want to keep a close eye on them as well. This is by Michael Snyder on End of the American Dream. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Michael's new book entitled Chaos, available in paperback and for Kindle on Amazon, and you can check out his new Substack newsletter right here. About the author, Michael Snyder, extremely controversial new book, Chaos, available in paperback and Kindle on Amazon. He's also written seven other books in, uh, available on Amazon, including End Time, Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Future of America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters, Commissions Earned. When you purchase any of Michael's books, you help to support the work that he's doing. You can also get his articles by email as soon as he publishes them by subscribing to his Substack newsletter. Michael has published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, The Most Important News, and he always freely and happily allows others to republish those articles on their own websites. You can connect with Michael on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and share his articles on your own social media accounts. It's definitely a great help. These are such troubled times and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, we strongly urge to you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.